going to tackle the last part of um, the discussion of RA 544 which is known as an act to regulate the practice of civil engineering in the Philippines and this is now in um, article 5 for article 5 this is the miscellaneous provisions section 23 preparation and plan preparation of plans and supervisions of construction by a registered civil engineer so it shall be unlawful for any person to order or otherwise cause the construction reconstruction or alteration of any building of or structure intended for public gathering or assembly such as theaters cinematographs stadia churches or structures of like nature and any other engineering structures mentioned in section 2 of this act unless the designs plans and specifications of the same have been prepared under the responsible charge of and signed and sealed by a registered civil engineer and unless the construction reconstruction and or alteration thereof are executed under the responsible charge and direct supervision of a civil engineer so plans and designs of structures must be approved as provided by law or ordinance of a city or province municipality where the said structure is to be constructed this means that um, for anybody who is planning to um, build and construct a structure then it should they should refer it to a civil engineer uh, with regards to the plans and supervision of the construction um, this shows the importance of our profession in civil engineering section 24 the practice of civil engineering is a professional service admission to which must be determined upon individual personal qualifications hence no firm partnership or corporation or association may be registered or licensed as such for the practice of civil engineering provided however that uh, persons properly registered and licensed as civil engineers may among themselves or with a person person properly registered and licensed as civil engineers may as architects form and obtain registration of a firm partnership or association using the term engineers or engineers and architects but nobody shall be a member or partner of such firm partnership or association unless he is truly licensed civil engineer or architect and the members or a civil engineer shall only render work and services proper for a civil engineer as defined in this act and the members or architects shall also render work and services proper for an architect as defined in the law regulating the practice of architecture Individual members of such firms, partnership, or associations shall be responsible for their own respective acts. So, as a summary or a representation in between architect and civil engineer, um, we can sum it up like this um, definition so architect versus civil engineer for architect they build public or private structures for civil engineers they build public or private structures with a focus on public structures as what you can observe most of the projects of uh, civil engineers are um, those involving um, 
public uh, projects uh, I'm not saying that most or I'll just consider that a civil engineer can do the private and public structures but uh, mostly in government projects um, we can find more civil engineers rather than um, architects doing like just like a um, public school construction so what you who you can and um, um, bump in the project is a civil engineer in most cases um, sometimes only sometimes with the architect next is the architect focus on the aesthetic principles of design while the civil engineer focus on science and engineering um, in school you will take more art related classes and fewer engineering and science related courses this is for the architecture students while for civil engineering you will take fewer art related classes and learn a lot more engineering and physics than you would if you majored in architecture when i was uh like there are cases when um, i am handling a subject where the enrolled students are not only civil engineer nurse civil engineering um, but also architecture students um, I can really observe that um, architecture students are more on the their skills and their um, um, knowledge are more related in art but um, when in terms to um, solving mathematical problems or physics or applications um, civil engineer will really excel to those kind of problems I am not also saying that um, civil engineer is more intelligent than architects or architects is more architects are more um, talented in terms to drawings or arts than civil engineer because it depends on the students I am just trying to differentiate um, in between the two types of um, profession next is for architects they acquire the relevant certifications in the field of architecture while for civil engineers they acquire the relevant certifications in the field of civil engineering so it is very important that if you are in one firm or in one project um, architects should not overlap the duties of civil engineers and at the same time um, civil engineers should not overlap the duties of architects next is section 25 reciprocity requirements no person who is not a citizen of the Philippines at the time he applies to take the examination shall be allowed to take it unless he can prove he, he can prove in the manner provided by the rules of court law of court that a specific provision of law the country which is uh, he is a citizen subject or national either admit citizens of the Philippines to the practice of the same profession without restriction allows them to practice it after an examination on terms of strict and absolute equality with citizen subjects or nationals of the country concerned okay further details for this you can check in the file as provided 
Then section 26, it talks about roster of civil engineers. A roster showing the names and places of business of all registered civil engineers shall be prepared by the commissioner of PRC periodically but at least once a year. And then section 27, repel all laws, parts of laws, orders, ordinances, or regulations in conflict with the provisions thereof, hereof, including parts of an act number 2985 as amended as pertains to the practice of civil engineering, are hereby repelled except provisions with the act number 3159, amending act number 2900, okay. So, these are just the details for the repel of this um, Republic Act 544. Then, for Section 28, construction of the Act, and then Section 29, effectivity, and then this Act was approved. Um, June 17, 1950 as amended by RA 1158 to approve June 16, 1956 since um, we now finished um, tackling the Republic Act number 544 uh, known as an act to regulate the practice of civil engineering in the Philippines I am hoping that um, once you graduated in the profession of civil engineering you already know the role or the certain um, practice that you are going to undergo um, once you will become a certified civil engineer and uh, never overlap to any other profession stick as a civil engineer and practice the practice your profession in a legal way then that ends our discussion for RA 544 however we need to continue our discussion um, on our next topic